Hold on. No, wait. I'm, I'm going to turn this camera off. I do love a foggy morning walk in the forest. The soft light out here just makes everything a little more mysterious. It's a cold winter morning out here, and it feels a little like like God just wanted everything to sleep in a little longer. So he's tucked it all up into a nice soft blanket of air. like the forest is wearing a shroud <clears throat> or maybe a veil. Today might be a good day to talk with Shenanigan again. I'll have to plan out some questions for her for a little later. I'm not sure where she is right now, <clears throat> but knowing what kind of a forest fairy she is, she's probably dancing naked somewhere nearby. Well, thank you, Shenanigan. Charming, maybe. I wouldn't go so far as to say dashing, though. I got this shirt at Goodwill. It's what I would call homestead chic. I like getting shirts at Goodwill. It feels more like what you find is what you were meant to have. She says that my words often have a meaning beyond what I'm actually talking about, and that's one of the reasons she's glad to have found me. Well, you look very nice too. What is that you're wearing? It's called Blossom Silk, and she designed the dress herself. It's a simple white dress, although it seems to be reflecting more light than it should, and it's got some glittery sparkles to it. The long, wide flower petals drape down from her waist. I'm glad you like that I look at things so closely. May I feel it, Shenanigan? It's smooth and soft like silk, but definitely more durable than flower petals are. It's not actually made from flowers. It's just supposed to look like it is. Well, this is a big responsibility for me. Because I'm the only one who can see and hear shenanigan, I'm in the unique position to be an anthropologist for the fairy realm. So I'll try and ask good questions and make good observations. A friend who watches some of our videos has given me a few suggestions too. First, I was asked to establish a little better what shenanigan looks like. 
She looks like she's only 18 years old, but she is in fact quite older, although she doesn't really act much older than she looks. Well, hold still. That means stop wiggling. No, it's not going to tickle. She's about this big right now. What's that? She can make herself any size that she wants, but usually she's quite little. Why wouldn't you want to be full-sized, or at least human-sized? She says beautiful things are that much more wonderful when they seem so much larger. Well, if Shenanigan were full-sized, I would say she has the girl next door look. With a slim figure, medium length brown hair, light skin, big green eyes, that, that green does seem to change intensity depending on her moods. Her manner is very approachable, if more mischievous and flirtatious than that girl next door look would seem to have implied. And like I mentioned before, her wings are invisible unless she uses them. And when she does, they glow so bright, all I really see is a bright spot of light. I imagine you've been watching me for some time. What made you decide to finally allow yourself to be seen by me? She says it was my response to that deer that died recently. You'll have to check out our video a deer died this morning. I just can't express enough how lucky I am to have a forest fairy like you here on our homestead. This place is special to me. The serenity of the forest and our family history here speaks to me. It makes me feel like I'm at home and having you here just makes it even more so. Tell me, what makes you decide to call a place home? She says my words are Sean Cooley Khan, inspiring her to be one with my joy and desire. She also chooses home based on where she feels most at peace. Most fairies live in isolation, although there are places on earth that are home to multitudes. Their culture is nomadic in principle. Even if they never move to a new place, they accept that being alive means they are only visiting a place for a short time. The territory fairies inhabit isn't owned by them, but there's an understanding among fairies about giving each other space. The amount of space is based on how much a fairy loves a particular area relative to however many other fairies love that same area. Why can't I see other fairies? Are there any others around? She says, I will only see them if they allow me to. And right now, there aren't any others around. You seem pleased by that. Are you afraid to share me with others like you? She says no, but do you always tell me the truth? She says no. Is this place kind of like out in the boondocks as far as fairy folk are concerned? Yes, the magic of this place is Kali Shunda in the process of becoming. I guess there's not a lot of competition for this real estate. Well, thank you, Shenanigan. She says my pronunciation of their language is getting better. Yeah, shiny for locked. You're never gonna let me forget that one, are you? This next question has a little judgment behind it, I'm afraid. A friend of mine who watched one of our other videos wanted me to read it to you.
Shame on you, shenanigan. Brian is spoken for already. How can you seduce him away from Wendy? Shenanigan isn't trying to take me away from Wendy. She says she never could because we live in different realms. Besides, to her, all love is innocent love. What would you say is the biggest difference between humans and fairies? Humans can be very destructive, but we can also be very creative. She thinks our defining characteristic is that we build things. Yeah, I guess so. A lot of the things we build do just help us build other things. She says it's a, say that again. She says it's a Hashin von Dreen, a wonderful madness. Good enough is just never good enough. We can't help ourselves. We always have to try and build something even better. Don't fairies build things too? What about the fabric for your lovely dress? Where did that come from? She says, all they need is magic, and that's where her dress came from. And now to prove it, her dress has just disappeared. She is wearing underwear. It looks like flower petals too. Very tiny flower petals. Excuse me? She wants me to feel that fabric too. <laughs> Maybe later, shenanigan. Well, that was a very fascinating demonstration. If everything that you need is provided by magic, do you have jobs or even roles in society? Okay, she's saying something about we have to eat bread by the sweat of our brow until we return to dust. She's paraphrasing the Bible there and God's judgment on us. Basically, we have to work, they don't. Although some of them do take on certain roles like, like a teacher or an explorer. Are you a teacher, Shenanigan? What? What's so funny? She says it's ridiculous. She's not even 200 years old yet. How could she be considered wise enough to be a teacher? Hold on. No, wait. I'm, I'm going to turn this camera off. How, how can I even think straight when you're doing that? We'll be right back. Sorry, I just had to clear my head for a moment. I shouldn't even say what shenanigan was doing, but you're probably curious. She was touching herself inappropriately as she said she was leaning towards being an explorer I know what she was really doing trying to spice up the magic flowing through me for her to absorb okay shenanigan you can come back no I'm not angry with you no you didn't ruin the video she says she's sorry. She's actually on her knees, swaying her shoulders, looking up at me with those big green eyes, a pouty lip, and an expression of exaggerated innocence. Yes, I still like you. By the way, were you nearby when I was walking in the fog earlier today? I thought so. I couldn't see you, but it felt like you were there. I don't know why, but I feel really connected to you. She does too. She says she is Sean Cooley Khan. And I am filled with Hashin Von Dream. 
together, what we are building is Kali Shunda. If you get the chance to build something sacred and beautiful with someone, don't hold back. You like watching me make these videos? Sure. We can do this again soon. In fact, I know I haven't thought of all the good questions today. If anyone out there can think of something they'd like me to ask her, please leave them in the comments section.